The earliest Masonic aprons were copies of stonemasons' aprons. Uh, the earliest Masonic brethren uh, are brethren who started the organized craft as we know it today. They drew directly from the operatives' uh, aprons. And of course their aprons were large and meant to be a utilitarian garment to protect their clothing. And so the earliest Masonic aprons were exact copies. They were very large compared to what we think of a Masonic apron today and not as symbolic in their outward appearance as we think of Masonic aprons today. They were pure copies of operative aprons. But as masonry came into the United States, the uh, individual artists, the individual masons, uh, began decorating their aprons with symbols of the craft, uh, colored ribbon, uh, symbolic colors like blue for blue masonry. And um, uh, you see the start to an evolution of the apron from a uh, utilitarian garment to more of a symbolic garment. So by 1870, after the Civil War with this flourishing of fraternalism and the industrialists meeting a sub uh, demand for regalia of all sorts. They hire laborers that are uneducated, uh, untrained, uh, no artistic ability, but they give them the tools to create aprons as quickly and as cheaply as possible. And as such, they utilize a relatively new design, a square and a triangle for a bib. Now, why did they choose that? Why not a curved pattern for an apron like you saw 99% of all other aprons before this time period? Two reasons. One is the ability to produce that design as quickly as possible. You get straight edges. You give a unskilled laborer a template. Get these out as quickly as you can. Send them to the seamstress to sew them together as quickly as possible. Also, that simple pattern creates less waste. So you're making a product for as cheap as you can with as little waste as possible. No longer is there an artist sitting at an easel creating an original design because that takes too much time. So from the Industrial Revolution, we see what has, or what has influenced our craft to this very day in the regalia that we wear. And it's not the desire to express one's uh, uh, feelings towards the craft, their personal commitment to the craft. It's the desire to produce something as quickly and cheaply as possible.